Hi, my name is Heather Collier and I'm with the Collier Law Firm LLC and today we're going to talk about a series um, involving child support and this is because I recently joined a Facebook page and it is called a father's movement and this is a page where very many men, not a lot of women, but more so men, have been wronged by the courts or by their exes um, when it comes to their children. And many of these men are paying child support diligently and they're not getting to see their children. And so they're not getting to see the benefit of their children growing up. And this is a problem in Alabama specifically because you get a lot of mothers and fathers who have custody of their children that think that the other parent should not have to um, be allowed to participate in their lives. And so what they do is even if there's a court order in place, they decide that they're not going to abide by it and this causes a lot of issues and one area where custodial parents think that they can dictate whether or not their children see the other parent is in the realm of child support and they think that many times if the custodial parent cannot pay enough child support or isn't willing to pay for other things um, extra um, it, extra um, with regard to child support whether it be you know class pictures or sports um, teams or whatever the case may be that they should have the right to withhold visitation from the other parent and this is wrong this is blatantly wrong okay um, many people think that that's perfectly fine and it's not and so what I'm here to talk about today is child support in general what it covers and my stance on that and then we're also going to kind of talk about you know what the other parent needs to do if they find themselves in a situation where they're dealing with a parent on the other side that's not allowing them to exercise their visitation uh, what they need to do with regard to that now with regard to child support, let me make something very clear. Child support calculates the basic needs. Okay, everybody has basic needs that need to be met. Food, shelter, clothing. Those are basic needs, and that's what child support covers. And a lot of times, child support does not cover extracurriculars, um, you know, school pictures, wanting to go do things with friends, those are all benefits that if the parents can afford to do those things, then they should afford to do those things for their children. But if they can't, those aren't included in child support. Okay? Again, child support provides for the basic needs of the child. That includes a roof over their heads. So for some of you that think that, you know, your ex-spouse shouldn't be paying shouldn't be you know using part of that money for the rent of the child for the rent for the child's benefit you're wrong okay um, clothing and food now having said that in Alabama the basic child support calculations are not a whole lot for example both parents um, say they work minimum wage jobs well they're imputed at minimum wage whether you work a minimum wage job or you're a stay-at-home parent you're imputed at minimum wage and currently that minimum wage equals out to about one thousand two hundred and fifty eight dollars per month so both parent is impute both parents if they both work minimum wage jobs or do not have a job are imputed at at least minimum wage because the guidelines uh, presume that each parent is able and capable of working whether they do so or not okay so let's say that we take that basic calculation alright 
Um, a credit is given for daycare expenses to the parent that pays the daycare expenses and for the health insurance. And then um, you add up all the uh, child support guidelines. You add up the basics for the children um, along with their daycare and their health insurance expenses and you get a total and then based on that total and based on what the parents make they are awarded a percentage of responsibility for those children in the form of child support all right so and that can vary and um then the other party must pay child support. The, the non-custodial parent often pays child support to the parent that has custody of the children. And this is for several reasons. Okay, number one is because that parent normally has that child or those children the majority of the time. So they're incurring the majority of the cost for those children. Okay, um, under a basic standard Schedule A visitation schedule in Alabama, the non-custodial parent is getting the child only, you know, one day a week and every other weekend, which doesn't amount to a whole lot. And that's under, again, a basic schedule. Um, but child support is calculated in that realm so you're going to pay say you have one child and both parents make minimum wage say the child's on medicare uh, medicaid um and the um daycare expenses are none or they don't incur any daycare expenses um at this time uh you're still going to end up paying around 300 and 50 or so dollars as a non-custodial parent all right but if you fall behind and you know arrears are accruing and that type of thing and you've had a change in circumstances since child support was calculated um, that warrants at least a 10 percent change in your income then you need to go back to the court it would behoove you to go back to the court and get child support recalculated all right but if you're making the bare minimum or imputed at the bare minimum wage for a 40-hour work week, you need to make sure that you're at least bringing home that amount. And when you calculate child support, it doesn't take into account your other bills, okay, because your child is your most important expense. Um, so people need to be aware of that, but also, you know, Parents need to be aware of the fact that just because one parent is behind on child support or one parent currently um, isn't paying child support, that is no reason for them to not see their child. You cannot withhold visitation because the parent is not paying child support. Likewise, it is not a crime to be poor. You cannot withhold your visitation of the child with the other parent because the other parent is having a difficult time providing for them when they do try to provide for them. Okay, so um, like we discussed earlier, if there is a change in circumstance, say you're making 10% less than you were last time, as long as it's over minimum wage, you know, go back to the court and get your child support recalculated. Likewise, I tell my clients, my custodial parents, if your spouse is making 10% or more than they were um, since the last child support calculation, that needs to go back and be calculated because if they're bringing home more money, your children need to benefit from that. The other parent is benefiting from that. Their, their children need to as well. So, um, and that's all I have with regard to that. If you are being withheld visitation because of your child support issues, you need to take that back to court and you need to get that resolved and nipped in the bud immediately because if one parent thinks that they can walk all over you and use the child as a pawn, believe me, they will. And that's not going to help the child at all. So that needs to be rectified as soon as possible. Um, and nipped in the bud and I do recommend that you have an attorney for that 
If there's anything that I can help you with, please give me a call. Again, my um, cell phone number, or my cell phone, my business number is 251-943-4870. Again, that's 251-943-4870. And you can visit my website, www.callyourlawllc.com. Again, that's www.collierlawllc.com. And um, as required by the Alabama State Bar Rules, no representation is made that the quality of legal services to be performed is greater than the quality of legal services performed by other lawyers. Again, thank you for your time. And if you have any comments, I encourage them um, underneath the video. And I will answer them in the order that they are received. Thank you.